Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Street Legal Racing Redline, messing around with another car. The vehicle today is a Renault Laguna. Doesn't look like it quite yet. It will do, eventually. Um, the engine in question in this is an interesting one, though. As you can see, I've gone for a mid-engine vehicle because I'm using a Callaway Cyclone engine that is a V16 means it's a pretty damn sizable engine. It doesn't really fit in the front very well. In fact, is there any... I don't think there's any any been a production car that has a V16. Certainly not recently. I'm sure people will correct me. Not V16s are not a common engine. There may have been some prototypes. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of one. Uh, yeah, let me know if there has been a car with a, <laughs> with a V16 engine. It is a humongous thing, as you can imagine. Uh, yeah, so I've decided to go for a mid-engine car. Now, unfortunately... I can't remove this little uh, sort of bit of bit of chassis. It's where the seats would go, I guess. And in theory, you should be able to take it out and put the engine, but I can't. So yeah, it, it does slightly go through that. If I put it in the front, it still looks a bit wonky as well. So we're going for a mid-engine car, okay? Just next, imagine that's not there, and then everything's fine. Okay, got to use a little bit of imagination on this build, but sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, an interesting engine. Not the most powerful though. In fact, one of the least powerful engines I've used so far. With a mere 760 horsepower. It's not very often that you use you use a mere and 760 horsepower in the same, <laughs> same sentence. But in light of the normal stuff that we've messed around with, uh, that is all the power that, that we're going to get. Which could be a good thing when it comes to this car. As lower horsepower cars are going to be easier to control on here. The, the 1,000, 4,000 horsepower vehicles are absolutely insane and barely drivable. So having a bit less horsepower may be quite useful on this vehicle. That's what I'm hoping anyway. The Mazda, the MX-5, had about the same as this, and that was nice and easy to drive. Well, I say easy to drive, it was. It certainly went the quickest. Uh, now we've got uh, racing parts. I've gone for slightly different suspension. This is the stuff I tried, the suspension I tried to use on the smart car, that it didn't fit in the smart car. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how good these are. I'm just messing about with, I think I've got slightly different... Uh, suspension arms as well. I'm just mixing it up, seeing what these different things do. We've gone for Circuit Master Super Racing Springs. I love that name. If these are not good around a track, I don't know what will be. Uh, so they can go on there. We are still using the Evo brake discs. They're the only brake discs I've seen to have, or, or, I've really got an option of. So they're going on there. Uh, I've, I've picked the wheels out already because I was having a little bit of problem whenever I go to the wheel page. It's starting to crash the game a little, so I figured oh, I'll, I'll, I'll pick these out. Uh, I'm quite pleased with these. Uh, in fact, I may need slightly bigger rims. They look a little bit diddy. Well, the tyres are too big. Whoopsie, I tried to guess at the tyres. Uh, <laughs> they're not going to work. We may have to go for slightly bigger wheels. We'll see what it looks like once we put on... Here we go, this is where we're going. So we need the little or the smaller tyres. We want uh, R17... And we want these ones. Uh, oops, that's 16. Don't want that. My bad. There we go. We will use these ones. Now, the hard compound tyres are the best tyres I have found for keeping the car on the track. We use any softer compound tyres and it has so much grip they tend to fall over. So, oh, really? Do these not? Is there not? Oh, can I not use these awesome rims? Bugger it. Um, Tyres. Hmm. Do we not have? Okay, I think we need a... A two, four, five. There we go. These ones. That's what we need. <laughs> Catalog is a little bit difficult to navigate through time. Sometimes stuff goes in a slightly random order. So we want these. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, I think that that fits all right. We'll we'll have a, just another check once we've uh, put all the body panels on. It looks suitably. I'm kind of going for a bit of a touring car-ish look. The Renault Laguna was was used as a touring car. I'm not. Was it in the BTCC or was it in the World Touring Car? I'm, it, I know it was definitely in one or two of them. Uh, <laughs> so we go for a bit of a touring car. Look, yeah, I'm ha pretty happy with that. Now on to the the body panels. We could go for standard Renault Laguna stuff. But what's the, what's the front strut brace? Is that for the engine bay? It might be. Um, yeah, we've got some some standard body parts uh, around or all, all through here. Uh, anything interesting? What is a hat holder? I don't know, but I want to find out what a hat holder is. Um, <laughs> hmm. Okay, and we'll we'll buy a, a radiator as well while we're at it. Just have a look where that. What is that? I'm. What? Why? Why is that there? I don't quite get that bit. Okay, I don't want that. Don't like that. Uh, what have we got? That is. Ah, yes, it is. It's the. I'm presuming it did, that, it did put that in there, didn't it? Must have done. Yes, it is that. Okay, so that's the uh, 
the, uh, the the engine brace. I bought two radiators. Don't need two of them. And that seems to have made absolutely bugger all difference on the car. I think we may may not quite have loaded in properly. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not appearing. Occasionally the little picture down here can bug out, but uh, okay, we don't seem to be having a radiator going on. Okay, uh, as I'm using mods on a really old game, so sometimes things get a little bit temperamental, okay? Um, <laughs> right, back to buying the bodywork. Now, as a standard one, there's plenty of replacement panels. These are the options of stuff that, uh, that, uh, that I can mess around with. There are two kits for this. There is SC and there is Rage. I don't really know what the difference is, so I'm going to buy both of them, and then we will uh, see what it, see what it looks like when swapping between them. So I'm going to buy all of the SC parts first, so uh, this is so that I can have them in order when I'm going through the um, uh, through through the adding of on of the parts. I'm going to buy all the SC ones first. Uh, oh, that intercooler looks like it's actually in existence, so we'll buy that. So they're rage doors. You're a mirror. Sure, we'll buy you. And you're a mirror as well. Okay, so we've just got the SC parts now. And then I'll go buy the rage... Oops, that's the wrong button to press. Uh, <laughs> nope, don't want interior. That's not what we want. Uh, replacement parts. There we go. Now I'll go buy through all of the rage bits. I will probably miss something, knowing, <laughs> knowing me. That's a rage bit. I don't like carbon bonnets, so we won't bother with that. You're a front bumper. And do 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 do, do rage, rage doors. Sure, we will have them. I think we may only have some rage parts. We seem to be missing some quarter panels from somewhere, but never mind. Okay, so we don't want that. That's rubbish. Go away. That's invisible. It's a magic radiator. And <laughs> Okay, for the quarter panels, what does this end up looking like when we put on all of these... Bits and pieces. Do, 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 do. Car's taking shape quite nicely. And that doesn't go on. Okay, so we don't seem to have an SC door. I also do not. <laughs> no, I don't like it. It's hideous. Okay, get rid of that silly body kit. Um, Alright, what? what? <laughs> Such a bad body kit. Um, Rage front bumper. That's much nicer. Look at that. We also need to be missing a grill. Uh, we're going to keep the bonnet. I don't mind the bonnet. Those that, those rear arches and doors were hideous on the thing on the front bumper. Uh, we are going. I think we're going to have to use them front quarter panels, and we may have to use them rear doors. I hope. Oh no, wait. We don't have to use those rear doors. I think we may have to use those rear quarter panels though, or we'll go to a standard one. Passenger door, rear left, rear right, driver door. There we go. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it looks slightly... Hold on, let's just, if I just take them off, and then we'll stick on uh, that one. And then, do we have the other... Oh, doors everywhere. Do we not have a SC front door? I don't know. <laughs> that, that is so hideous. <laughs> Who would think that looks good on a car? I don't know. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Burn it in the fire. Uh, Okay, so we've got messed up body kit. They're raged, they're just sort of normal doors. We may have to go with the normal quarter panels as well, I think, on this. As a uh, <laughs> massively wide wheel arches. No, no, not for me. Um, <laughs> do, do, what do we what do we have? They're so they're they're the rage skirt, so we'll use them. That's a right uh oh, I've not taken off the left sided one. Okay. <laughs> Why does it come out so much? Why would that be a thing that people would want? I don't know. Go away, all of that garbage. We can put on that. Rage rear bumper. Please don't be too stupid. So we have... Yeah, that's, uh, that's passable. It'll do. Uh, intercooler, nope. Dude, that can go on there. That can go on there. We've got mirrors, and then we've got all of the garbage parts. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Okay. Sell those parts. Oh, they're amusing. They look terrible. Uh, buy... Body parts. This is, the, this is the most fun I have with this game. Is trying to make a car look half decent-ish uh, with the options that we that you get. Because there is a lot of freedom to mess around with cars. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to go with just normal quarter panels. Well, there doesn't there isn't a rage thing, so we'll go with normal quarter. Are we missing? Oh, that's where the grill is. We we'll have that. Are we missing a, a side? I think we are. Yeah, we're missing a rear 
Did I just not see that, or did it not come up as an option? That looks much neater. So we're missing a uh, right... I didn't think I saw a right one. Uh, d -d 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 replacement? No, wait. Body panels. We need a right... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was a different... Because <laughs> it was a different angle. I didn't notice it. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Look at that. Looking a bit neater. We need a boot. That would be a, that would be a useful thing. Uh, back to body panels again. Trunk. There we go. That works for me. Did we miss anything else out? Nope. I think we are all good. There we can put that on there. Haha! <laughs> Look at that. It's looking like a car now. And it's kind of looking like a sensible-ish one. It doesn't have that <laughs> silly body kit on the damn thing. Okay, yeah, I'm not too displeased with, with that. Uh, right, onto the windows. Now, if I seem to remember correctly, uh, I have got a lot of choice for lights. We can have lots of lots of interesting <laughs> interesting lights going on with this car. Okay, we've got, we've got mirrors put on already. So we'll have windows and windows. And passengers and drivers' windows. We can have either the rage one. With, oh, I don't like that one. We'll go with the, just the normal one. I don't like the big, <laughs> the big banner across it. Uh, we can have the little, little triangle window bits. Yes, we can have them. And uh, well, okay, I'll go with a standard front one. Now, the <laughs> choice of headlight colours. Uh, we can have yellow, uh, or we can have aqua. I wonder if it actually affects the colour. Oh, we've got to have orange. Yes, we're having orange. Orange headlights. There's loads of choice on this car, um, <laughs> which is quite neat, I have to say. Uh, or do we go for a mix? No, we're not going to have a multicolored eyed car like we had before. Was it the MX-5? Yeah, it was the MX-5, I think. There are the tail lights. Are there choice of? Oh, what's the difference between Rage headlights and I don't know. Let's have. A, we'll have a look. Uh, trunk light. I don't know what that is. Why is there multiple? I don't know. Uh, oh, we can have Rally headlights. We've got to get rally headlights, if rally headlights work. Uh, okay, we'll just go back and I'll see what we've got. <laughs> As I said, can occasionally get a little bit confusing with the old um, organising of, of stuff in the catalogue. Okay, so we can have them, uh, or we can have... What does? I don't quite know what that is. I'm not sure if this is quite right. It doesn't look like a rally headlight. It doesn't also seem to be doing anything. Okay, so we can have orange headlights that I really want to test if they actually are orange. And then we can have left and right tail lights. I don't know what that is. What is that? Is that the light across the top of the trunk bit? I think. It looks. It. Oh wait, that's ah right. It's because they're split. That would make sense. So we need to go and buy another bit for them. I like the options that we get with this car. It's pretty cool. Let's see this running gear. Well, I'm going to running gear. Lights, and then we needed uh, that. I think. Then we should. There we go. I think we're good to go. I'm still not a huge fan of that rear bumper. To be honest, I like the front one's okay. I'm not sure about that rear one. What does the standard one look like? It'll probably look quite stupid with the normal, <laughs> with the normal car bits on it. Uh, da -da, where's the rear bumper bit? Somewhere. That's a front bumper. That's not what we want. Uh, do we not have rear? Am I missing something? Am I blind? It's possible. There it is. I am missing something. I am blind. Uh, slightly. Do, do, do. Hmm. Nah. I'm not a huge fan of that one, but it's going to have to do. Okay. <laughs> Rayo Laguna is looking pretty, pretty sorted. Uh, we're just going to go and buy a seat and a steering wheel. So we've got interior. Steering wheels. Now, what have we got of the options of? I've actually got a proper Renault Laguna one. Do we have any interesting? No, we don't have any interesting ones from Renault. Uh, let's put in a V8 supercar wheel. Well, we're trying to make a touring car style-ish, and I say very-ish, sort of thing going on here. So we'll go with a V8 supercar steering wheel. Do we have... Ooh! We have sort of proper old race seats going on. I like them. We will have one of them. And we shall fit these two as a car. And, oh, actually, it all fits in lovely. How nice is that? We don't have to jigger around with the seat anymore. Uh, it'd be quite noisy in there, I would imagine. <laughs> Okay, I think we're pretty much ready to go with this car. We shall just go and paint it the the obligatory orange and we'll see if we can get any can we get any interesting combinations of bits? Oh, there we go. Okay. So if we were to paint that now the rest of that black, would that work? I think it might actually. I think it might. I can't do my proper paint jobs on here, well not without a lot of fiddling around and without probably crashing the game. Oopsie! Sprayed the wrong bit. Actually, now that works. 
I think I'll keep it like that. Oh, we've got to, oh, we've got to go bloody orange around this side. Oh, we need a cover thing for that. Uh, <laughs> do we have the skirt as black as well? I think we probably did. There we go. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's staying. It's staying. Actually, no, I, def I definitely prefer it with the. I don't know what is it that I keep spraying by accident when I'm doing that. Alright, you're going black. There we go. Sorted. Actually, what are the better colour combinations of cars that I've made? In all honesty. <laughs> Which surprises me. With the, with the fairly limited thing that I can do on here. Well, with that, oh, please don't tell me I painted the door. Oh, thank God. Alright, there we go. Car's looking pretty sorted. I think I might need to buy a battery. That's something I think I do need. Because when I have these pre-built engine kits, I think they forget or they don't put the battery in. So we will need one of them somewhere. To, to battery, battery, this one here. Then I think we're good to go. I swear I forgot something. We'll probably find out when we go driving. Um hmm. Did I forget? Oh yeah, the I was gonna buy the, the fuel cap, wasn't I? That was the other thing we wanted. I guess it's in body panels. There we go. <laughs> Do any other cars needed a fuel tank thing? Oh, bugger it. And then we're going to go paint. Oh, right, that's right. Okay. Our, v our V16 Renault Laguna is ready to uh, take to the track. It will have four laps to set as fast a time as it can around the Sakuba circuit. Our current fastest car is a Mazda MX-5. I think it's a V8 powered one. Uh, with a lap time of 56.8 seconds, and we're going to try and go quicker with this car. I think it does actually stand quite a decent chance of doing that, in all honesty. Oh, okay, we've got quite a lot of oversteer there. Uh, <laughs> it stands a decent chance in that this may well be one of the more controllable cars that I've built. It hasn't got such a ludicrous amount of power. It's still, it's still got a ludicrous amount of power. But it's not quite as ludicrous as some. It's actually seemed quite nice to drive, although we do have a lot of oversteer. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and then we've got. <laughs> Why are you not turning, car? We are. It's got. <laughs> it's the same problem as normal on here. Uh, we've got quite a lot of oversteer. That, that is like really snappy oversteer. And then once we try and boot it, we can't. We couldn't do donuts with this car. <laughs> You can't just boot it and say, is this four-wheel drive? I don't know, it might be. Uh, but then it should be so snappy on the oversteer front. Okay, this one's going to be quite tricky to drive, I have a feeling. Uh, I wasn't, like, power delivery is not a problem, it's just a random sudden oversteer. Oh, and then, then, then understeer. Okay, how quick can we get up down here? I mean, we should, uh, we're not spinning the wheels up massively. Yeah, that's pretty bloody fast down there. Uh, break into the final corner, chuck it in and spin into the wall. Oh, uh, okay. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I didn't hit the wall that hard either. Um. Okay, I've slightly killed the Renault. Back to the garage. Uh, we need a we need a repair. What is that? That's out floating out there. That's the <laughs> that's the fuel the fuel tank lid thing. Oopsie. Well, I think we've probably lost some tail lights. I'm not going to bother keep replacing them. This may be quite a pain in the ass to drive. Hmm. Okay. So this is a bit of a different one. This is a nice car on power on the power delivery front. It's probably the nicest I've built on here. It you can put the power down. Okay, we had a little bit of wheel spin, but then it's lovely and controllable through the gears. Jump on the brakes and as per normal, we don't really stop very well. But whenever we go to put the power down out of the corner, we have a choice between the really chronic understeer or spinning. There's no <laughs> Normally you have a choice between the chronic understeer or lots and lots of wheel spin and sliding. In this, there's not the wheel spin and sliding option. There is the understeer or a big spin option, which means we're going to have to be very careful with this car. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, no, don't do that. Don't do that, you silly car. And try and slow it down. <laughs> Underbraking is always interesting in this game with these random contraptions that uh, I come up with. Never quite sure what we're going to get. Okay, I mean, we're very quick down here. One of the most controllable, controllably quick cars I've had. Might actually go faster than a lot of them. 
because it's not just permanently spinning the wheels up. But we have let go again. Hmm. Okay. And then we can't really re recover it. But <laughs> I don't know why it can't spin around on the spot. I'm not sure what that is. Why it's doing that. A 119! The slowest lap I think we've done yet, possibly. Hmm. If I could stop it spinning, I think this would be quite quick. This is going to really struggle on that weight gain. I think we will get squashed Renault, because I will eventually spin the car. Ooh, no, no, stop being twitchy, please, stop being twitchy. No, don't oversteer. No, oh, please don't oversteer. <laughs> I'm just trying to wrap my brains. I definitely put on, I put on the adjustable shock absorbers, and I put on ultimate racing circuit springs, so this shouldn't have, you can get drifting, drifting parts, drifting suspension. But uh, if, if it did, this would be terrible at drifting as well, because there's, there's no control to it. It's just turning, and all of a sudden you're pointing backwards, or sideways, or, or in, a, in, a, in a different direction to the one that would be of use to you. Hmm. I'm tempted to try and find out how quick this will go down here. I think it would be it would probably be the fastest car we've had, because we're actually using the power. But then I'd never get it stopped for this, <laughs> this corner. And then there's understeer, then we start getting a little bit sideways. Now put the power down across the line. Ooh, if we go absolute full throttle, we do get some wheel spin. Ooh, save it before we go in a wall. Aha, we did save it before we went into a wall. <laughs> okay, I mean, this thing would be really quick once you had, if you had enough space, if you could give it a, a long enough run up. This would be mighty fast, but <laughs> it's so. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the the engine position. I've not. I know I have had a mid-engine car. I had the Ferrari. The the Ferrari 360 was a mid-engine uh, vehicle. I don't know how the engine position affects the car's handling on here. I don't, maybe it could be the engine position. I mean, this car is not, of course, not at all designed to be a mid-engine vehicle. Don't know why. <laughs> Just turn around. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, there we go. We've finally got it turned around. That's not normally a problem you have with a 750 horsepower car. Uh, with the, the spinning around bit. Well, the spinning around getting going again bit. The actual spinning around and crashing bit. Well, yeah, that happens regularly. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what to make of this car. I really flummer. This is not at all what I, how I expected it to drive. I thought this might be quite a nice car. Ooh, twitchy, twitchy, twitchy. Make sure we get it slowed down. We can only really do... <laughs> see, we can only really do 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour around this corner because of either the understeer or the oversteer. One of them is going to kill it. We've got one more lap to set a decent time with this car. Hmm. It's got to be very, very carefully done. Carefully through the first corner, then gently feeding the power. There we go. We've got a bit of oversteer going on. Oh, and then it's trying to snap under braking. Really doesn't slow down well. Ah, <laughs> lose all of the speed through the hairpin as we get lots and lots of oversteer. We've got to be careful again through here. Oh, no, we're going to go. We're going to go, and there's nothing I can do about that. Hmm. <laughs> this is a weird one. I don't know what causes it to do this. Can we do... Nope. <laughs> we're not going to even do a J-turn. It's just not, not going to let it. Even if we get it up to, like, 40... 40, how fast can we go in reverse? 50, 60? We're, we're almost breaking the speed limit in reverse. Fine, you know what? He doesn't want to turn around. Let's see how fast we can go in reverse down the back straight. Hmm. Maybe it might be more stable in, re <laughs> in reverse. Come on, car. There we go. Look at this. Oh, it is actually surprisingly stable in reverse. We're breaking the speed limit. We're at 90... We're at <laughs> 110 miles an hour in reverse. Can we take the final corner? No, not quite. In fact, actually, this is almost more controllable in reverse than it was going forwards. The, <laughs> the engine wasn't too happy about me doing that in reverse. And we have also lost a rear quarter panel. But never mind! <laughs> 110 miles an hour in reverse. That's quite impressive. Hmm. Strange, very difficult car to drive, this one. 1 minute 4 is not the worst lap time we've had. Not the worst lap time we've had. Which is surprising, considering how difficult that is to drive. Right. Okay. Now, I have a suspicion when we... I'll just go and repair everything uh, on the car. Do, 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 do repair the vehicle. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, I, I have a feeling that this might not be very good at the weight game. The minute we try and do quick changes of direction, I think this car will come unstuck. I'll give it a try, and it'll be funny watching the Laguna get squashed. 
but I have a sneaking suspicion it probably won't be very good. Uh, oh well, come on then, Carl. We will get to test it a little bit in the straight line speed department, uh, possibly, as we go over here. Right, now let's fire the car along. Yeah, gear ratio is actually sensible in this engine, which is nice. It's not an adjustable gearbox on here either. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's a straight bit of road. Let's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's fairly, whoa, okay. <laughs> if we are at like 95% throttle, it's okay. And then when we go to 100% throttle, it's just a spin. Uh, oh, we've also shot past our uh, starting point. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, if you keep it at 95% throttle, it's a sensible, powerful car. When you go any more than that, it suddenly becomes a monster and spins you out instantly. Uh, okay, here we go. We will start. The, yes, the car will probably be smashed. That is the, that is the idea. We'll see there's a gear in there. Right, let us begin. The weight gain, for those of you who may not have seen this before, basically, as you can see, the game will drop some very large weights around the car. The longer you survive, the more or the closer the weights uh, are to you when they're dropped, so they become harder and harder to dodge, and the more frequently the game drops them. This is the problem that we have. We have to actually keep the car above 25 miles an hour. When we go below that, when we go below that for any length of time, we fail. Now, <laughs> with this vehicle's tendency to spin, I may actually end up failing without anything ever actually being dropped on the car. Oh, <laughs> we went underneath it. <laughs> Let's not do that one again. Oh, crap. Uh, if we just kind of keep this around the 30 mile an hour mark, it's lovely and controllable. Okay, it is a little bit cheating, because I wasn't doing that with the other cars. Oh, change direction. Oh, that changing of direction, even at 70 miles an hour. Oh, go, 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 before something gets dropped on you. Uh, more speed. Oh, we drove into one. Can we keep it in reverse? No. <laughs> End of challenge. Hmm. It is just not, it's too easy to spin. I can't change direction quick enough in this car to, um, yeah, to avoid the things because when you try, you are going to spin eventually. We didn't actually get crushed. This has probably been the best survivor because nothing actually landed on us. Uh, but this is one of the harder cars I've had to drive. Even with a more sensible engine, its tendency to spin out wildly does make it uh, <laughs> a little bit of a pain. Well, there we go. That is it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.